Good morning, Lowell High School. Today is Friday, December 8th, and you're tuning in to this week's edition of The Week Ahead. Hey everyone, if you're a senior and you're thinking about going to college, look no further because this week coming up we have Express Decision Week. What does that even mean? That you can get an answer on the spot from over 15 different colleges and universities that are going to be here on campus. So sign up in Student Support Services if you want to apply to college and you want to know right away if you can get in. There's not a lot of schools that do this, so take advantage of it. Go to Student Support Services and sign up. Now let's take a look at the Dual Enrollment Early College Symposium where you're going to get to meet our students who are going to share their vision for education. Let's check this out. At Lowell High School, there literally is something for everyone. We have clubs, after school programs, and one of the interesting and most popular programs we have that is currently growing right now is our early college programs and dual enrollment programs. Within those programs, we also have pathways where students can choose different types of career fields and interest and really get focused on those fields just to see if they're interested and to build some experience and exposure to the world of work and careers. One of those careers that we have a focus on is education. We're here today with two students to talk to us about the education pathway at Lowell High School and why they're in it. Hi everyone, my name is Maureen. I'm from Sea House and I'm a senior at Lowell High School and I went to the Robinson Middle School. Hi, my name is Sebastian. I'm a senior in B House and I went to the Sullivan Middle School. Both of our students here are here today because they're in the education pathway. Within the education pathway, students have various field work experience. They take classes, but instead of me talking about it, I want you guys to talk about it. So tell us, uh, why don't we start with Maureen. Maureen, tell us a little bit about the education pathway and why you chose to be in that program. The education pathway is just a pathway that mainly focus on, focuses on the art of teaching and just education in general. And I chose that pathway because I think it's important to just see representation in the education system and to like figure out ways where I can see myself and my peers that look like me in the classrooms. Similar to what Maureen said, it's very empowering to be in the classroom where everyone else wants to be an educator as well. And it just, it's able to let us grow and truly see if education is for us. So one of our courses under the education pathway is teaching an in inclusive classroom. And we have done a couple um, field visits to the Bailey Elementary School. So it's really lets you observe and actually see like all the behind the scenes of teaching. And we also got to implement and like um, instruct a lesson um, to a group of third graders. What are some things you learned about teaching that you didn't know before you took this, these classes or had these experiences? I learned about teaching that there's actually like a really great disparity in um, test rates between marginalized groups. And I know that in Low High specifically that teachers have found ways to try to combat this disparity. So I think that's pretty interesting and unique. I found it interesting that we learned about Bloom's um, taxonomy. So it's basically a hierarchy of um, needs and it's basically helps students and teachers achieve mastery in an, um, for an objective or concept. What could you tell us about the symposium that happened at UMass Lowell in the education pathway? So all of us got together as a class at Coburn Hall at UMass Lowell, and we each had a poster. Um, and there's different people walking around seeing the posters. And it kind of just put everything we've learned in teaching an inclusive classroom onto a poster. So all of that we wonder what we've learned and how the class makes us feel and like our dream for education. To add on to what Sebastian said, um, at the symposium that happened yesterday, we basically just focused on our projects and reflected on our experiences in Ms. Bowers' class. And my project mainly focused on my dreams for education, which, like Sebastian, is to see representation in the classrooms and to also just be a point person for all children involved, even like kids with like disabilities and IEPs and just all things like that. Now that we're talking about teachers, do you want to give a shout out to any teachers? coaches, administrators, adults that have helped shape who you are today? Yes, the teachers I would love to give a shout out to is Mrs. Bauer, Ms. Laughlin, and Ms. Volante. I feel as though all of these teachers have impacted my high school experience and have made me the student who I am today and the person I am today. And I just want to thank you so much for their continuous support. 
I'd like to shout out Mrs. Bauer because she's always keeping me in the loop of internships or possibilities for me um, regarding education. And also Mrs. Ferreira, who's my math teacher last year. Um, she's really um, allowed me to want to be a math teacher. All right, well, I want to thank you for being on the show and thank you for all you do in the field of education and for setting a good role, being a good role model for the school community. Thank you for your leadership. On Tuesday, December 5th, we hosted our biggest concert of the year so far, our winter concert. I want to thank all of the instructors, Mr. Winslow and staff and students for an amazing performance. We're very proud of you. Let's check out some scenes from the winter concert. For those of you who want to watch the full concert, it's available on our YouTube page. So stay tuned for full concerts, basketball games, sporting events, and other LHS activities on our YouTube page. As I walk around the hallways, I've been getting a lot of requests for trivia for the week ahead. So we're back at it. This week, we have a trivia contest, and we're going to start keeping score. The house at the end of the year with the most points will receive a special prize. So this is live. It counts just like the NBA playoffs. Here we go. And we're starting with Miss Bauer, who just got a shout out from one of her students. Miss Bauer, I have two trivia questions. First, say your name and what house you're in. Kendra Bauer and B House. All right, these points go to B House. What is the most popular color of M&Ms? Blue. That is correct. Yeah. And a standard traffic light, is the green at the top or the bottom? Bottom. That is correct. Name and house office. Ava B House. Lily B House. Leo B House. Alana D House. Lola E House. My name is Jessica Ray and I'm a part of C House. My name is Juan Bochas Diaz and I'm a part of C House. B House. D House. D House. B House. C House. What is the most popular color of M&M's? Uh, red. That is not correct. Blue. That is correct. Which M&M is the most popular color? Brown? That is incorrect. <laughs> red. That is incorrect. Yellow. That is incorrect. <laughs> Blue. That is correct. 50 points for Seahouse. All right, on a standard traffic light, is the green light at the top or the bottom? <laughs> that is incorrect. On a standard traffic light, the green light is at the top or the bottom? At the top. Are you serious? <laughs> it's at the bottom. Judges, we accept that answer. The standard traffic light, the green light is at the top or the bottom? Five, four, three. Two, one, final bottom, answer. Bottom. That is correct. <laughs> Lola, what show has an ice cream shop called Scoops Ahoy? Um, Stranger Things. That is correct. What show has an ice cream shop called Scoops Ahoy? I don't know this one either. I have no idea. Chip Ahoy. SpongeBob? Stranger Things. Stranger Things is correct. <laughs> what is the national bird of the United States? A bald eagle. That is correct, 100 points. House, this is for 50 points. What is the national bird of the United States? Bald eagle. Do you agree with that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You think that's funny? No, I'm You're laughing funny. at me? No. <laughs> when you said bald, you did look at me funny. <laughs> One, uh, 200 points, 150 points, 200 points.
Well, I want to thank you for joining us on The Week Ahead. I hope you have a great weekend, and we'll see you next time on The Week Ahead. Have a great weekend, everybody. The Pathways programs at Lowell High School offer a sequence of targeted courses that expose students to potential career paths. Education Pathway is actually um, a pathway that students can join their sophomore year and take classes that are in the pathway moving up through their senior year. A lot of the classes are dual enrollment. You'll have that marking on your transcript and on your diploma that you are part of the Education Pathway. And it also sets you up nicely for going into UML if you did want to major in education. So it's a really great way to get insight into what it is to be a teacher and what it means to be in the classroom, whether that is your future goal or not. Uh, you learn a lot about how you learn. Education Pathway is a great way to meet other students who care about their own education. So a lot of times you'll take classes and when you start with history of education in America, then you might see those same students in sociology or see those same students in a psychology class. And so it's a great way to make yet another community in our large Lowell High School community. So all of us got together as a class at Coburn Hall at UMass Lowell and we each had a poster. Um, and there's different people walking around seeing the posters and it kind of just put everything we've learned in teaching the inclusive classroom onto a poster. At the symposium, we basically just focused on our projects and reflected on our experiences in Ms. Bauer's class and my project made me focus on my dreams for education is to see representation in the classrooms and to also just be a point person for all children involved, even like kids with like disabilities and IEPs and just all things like that.